the not fest concept is something that's it's been 10 years in the making you know this is something we've been talking about for a very long time you know and what it would be what it would look like you know um and then obviously a couple of years ago when we were able to kind of break ground on our first couple of shows it gave us a taste of what could be done but then what we wanted to do came later and again i can't take a lot of credit you know a lot of you know the majority of this is clown you know clown is you know he's got such a great vision for things like this and he was able to really compile a list of the things that he wanted to see for us um, stuff that he thought made sense under the 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 slipknot name and uh, you know and then after that it was just me kind of coming in and going alright well you know, I'll, I'll help choose some of the bands you know <laughs> and luckily I mean we had there was no shortage to, to that list you know I mean I think we had proved ourselves to the point where if we put our name on something people realized that it was going to be quality and I'm, I'm proud of that as well. This was our way of trying to recreate a European festival in the States, because I don't think it's ever been done. And people have come close, but it's always regimented to a certain side of the music industry, whether it's uh, you know more of like the active rock radio kind of vibe or it's Coachella, which is just hippy dippy weirdness. And you just never know what the hell you're gonna get. You know you're gonna get flutes and accordions, but you don't know if you're gonna get anything cool. So with us, I mean, this was our way of kind of they're sticking our flag back in the ground and so on and going, hey, the rock and metal aren't dead. We're just waiting to kill you. It's hard to say who the biggest metal band in the world is because you have Metallica, you have Slayer, you have everything. But I honestly, in my own opinion, I don't think there has been a metal band that has made as much of an impact as Slipknot. They still are the heavyweight and heavy music and they've uh, they've experienced a certain level of commercial commercial level success that just doesn't exist in this scene or this world or the radio market but they did because they're so uh, massively creative I know they've been such a, a transition a gateway a bridge for everyone to get more and more into heavy music into different metal um, I, I can confidently say that about Slipknot which is uh, again a phenomenon which I don't think anyone could entirely describe. It makes me feel proud, you know. I mean, when I hear bands, whether it's past or the future, you know, or present, when I hear bands say that, you know, it shows me that this is the last place in music when it comes to respect. Um, because you couldn't do that in hip hop, you couldn't do that in pop, you couldn't do that in a lot of ways in country or in one of those quote unquote punk bands. Um, we we protect each other and we back each other and the fact that uh, people you know in our genre may not even like our music but they respect the fact that we've been flying this flag for a very long time you know and they've got our back which means we've got theirs um, it makes me feel good it makes me feel like we've you know not only done things right but we've done it our way and that has garnered a uh, a lot of respect on a lot of different ends, so all I can say is thank you.